Oost! Welcome back to the channel guys, thanks very much for clicking on. Uh, sorry I have not posted a YouTube video in over two weeks, I know you would appreciate, I've been very very busy. I have had all the K-Clip trailers from Ireland, been doing them, I've had a sawmill at Botogar and had to get offloaded, I've had repairs, we call, what do we have, calipers, also had a, uh, right under here, had a, a, what was it, a dozer pressure, was it pressure sensor? Pre DPA pressure sensor, uh, sensor to replace, new calipers, distant pads at the same time, and it's just been a sea of things, but anyway, I've got a good run now, I'm heading down south, and I've got two drops on. We have a Moose Max wood terminator, wood chipper, if you do recognise it, you will, because that actually was my old man, he has now sold it back to Moose Max. Then a big shout out to Ian at Melex who gave me the heads up that Callum wanted his drawbar trailer taken down. He has sold this down the road. So I've loaded up at Walk Home Inside. I'm going to see where I get to tonight. I'm going to burn my time out. I'd like to try and get to Ben at Moose Max tonight. Mm, I'm very doubtful. It just depends how we get on going down the road, what happens with traffic. But the end result is I'll be staying out a couple of nights this week. But if I get there tonight, it doesn't matter. Tip in the morning and then go tip my second load, reload around the corner, which is a bonus, and I might have a top-up load to go up the road as well, but not confirm with that just yet, right? <laughs> Ah, oh, right, that's us past the borders now, just coming up to pay Riff. I'm going to drive for another hour and a bit, have my 45, get my dinner, and then carry on down the road. I need to think where I'm going to park. I might get around about Stoke on Trent tonight, trying to find somewhere to park. That's going to be the issue. But apart from that wee problem, which isn't much, we'll figure that out. That's part of being the lorry driver. Uh, route is clear, but a lovely evening. And we've had no issues. Honest to God, I actually wish I filmed that, but um, I don't know whether it's arrogance or common sense, but where are some drivers dump their lorries now? We are trying to get parked and try to get past them. No use. Well, anyway, I'm just going to have my dinner here. Quick 45. Well, can't have a quick 45, you have a 45. What's on tea tonight? Under my bed is my fridge and my freezer. That's my fridge, that is my freezer. And I have some homemade mince and tatties. Right, I need a way to reheat my mince and tatties and I have a microwave just in my middle locker here. Now, trucks do come with, mic well, some trucks that you expect from a factory do come uh, with microwaves. Uh, mine didn't, but uh, I just put an inverter in it, uh, plugged that to the batteries and then ran the extension cord under the floor, up the A-power, and here. So, uh, I'm just looking at some really cool footage I did from earlier on inside the cab. Just stuff I filmed earlier on uh, and deciding what to keep and what to get rid of and then cut out. This is the stuff a lot of people don't see, uh, the work that goes into all this behind the scenes. Now my dinner is ready and I'm just going to stick on uh, Wakanda forever. Quite watch that, I've got just over 20 minutes left and get cracking down the road. Right, that is me parked up in Stafford Services just down the road. Uh, the lorry park was completely jam-packed, you couldn't fit a fag paper in it. So me and this other driver here I've just met came around the back here and parked where the caravans go because the caravans park in our bit so I think it's only fair. And plus caravan season's not happening yet. Uh, park up here tonight, bed, Gonna start half six in the morning and crack on. Now, in the off chance you don't know, but yes, lorry drivers, we sleep in the cab. Look at my nice curtains here. Uh, that is my bed behind the seat. There's another bed up there if you're, there's two years in the cab. It's comfy, it's cozy, I quite like it. I get a very good sleep in the lorry. Uh, you'll find a lot of drivers will say the exact same. Now, be my magazine, bed. Oost. Oh. Morning. Let's get going. Breakfast had defects, all sorted. Let's get moving.
Aye, right, that's us here at fucking Ben's place. Some chippers here. He's in from Austria. Uh, FTJ at the moment. Ah. They're brilliant. Aye, really, really good for them. And they're there, they're only 20 minutes away from us, Max. So. That's handy, like. Yeah. And just a can, if I'm ever going abroad to give them a shout, like. Yes. I hope you're better at this than I am. <laughs> well, I've done it once or twice. There you go. What's the yeah, plans of that then? Just uh, refurb? Do a bit to it and then get it sold. We need much like to refurb on the crane. There's a couple of bits on the crane want doing. Yep. Well, that's but, a quite a new crane on it. Was that yeah. not a new one or just yeah, a new section? Yeah, it was new, yeah. Is it just PAL fingers that get fitted to the work? You get other makes as well? Uh, that's a pens crane on there, but it's generally PAL finger we put on now. Right. Just because they're a bit stronger. Mm -hmm. Right, that's us tip the chipper at Ben. Ben, just wait for my second drop. I've just phoned about my second collection and they say it's not going to be ready till tomorrow and I've asked them, what, can we push it to this afternoon? I'll be up there this afternoon, can you have it ready for this afternoon? Because I don't want to have to hang about till the morning. Um, I'd have to make a decision where to leave it. But then I still need to get it later on at some point for the customer. But we'll let that develop. Yep, it's up here. We've just arrived, unchained, and hopefully, I don't know how we're going to lift this off actually. Right, that's me tipped. I'm gonna go get my back load on. I'm a wee bit disappointed because I just heard back that that machine's not gonna be ready to this evening, which was the kind of the bonus load. But if it isn't, it isn't. We'll, we'll see what happens. But I'm gonna get my other load on now. It's only around the corner, which is a benefit. Eh, uh, I think I'm in the right place. There is tanks there. Now it looks like the, the digger is not going to happen so I'm just going to load the back of this up and then try and get something for the neck to fill up but we do have a problem, we have a snap stud which it's defect GV9 at the side of the road you get caught with that but made phone calls there is someone not so far away from here I'm going to use my big ratchets um, that has a stud and a nut I buy maybe a couple extra ones from them because that's the second time that's happened. First time happened was torquing up, but that one's just snapped in its own, so it is a bit of a concern. But all the wheels are torqued up correctly. I've got the torque bar there. Um, I don't know why, so I'm going to buy a set. I start buying sets of studs next and replacing them all. I think replaced that one last week. That one's just went. It's clearly just happened because it's just fresh all the way through. I have to look into this, but I can't go on the road without getting a new one, so there's a place just about 10 minutes on the road, I'm going to go get one. Hey guys, we're on the way, we're loaded, but we're not heading north yet because Kev gave his mate a shout, Martin Gulp Transport. Um, they've got a stud and wheel nut for me, so I've defected it and head straight to them. 
it's only 15 miles away which is fine replace that and we'll just check everything else while we're there and then head up the road these guys are absolute gents you can instantly tell brand new now, within seconds, they managed to have the old stud knocked out, but even more impressively, without taking the wheel off, they managed to get the new stud on by feeding it through with a magnet and a set of pliers. Knowing and finding places like this makes all the difference to the job and getting yourself back on the road quick. Thanks again, Martin Galt Transport. That is what you call F1 Superstar Servers. I had to go less than five minutes and I'm back on the road. We going right. Let's get up the road. This is why I hate coming south. Traffic, traffic, traffic. Oh. Just takes the fun right out of this. There's no parking. Parking facilities are crap if you get in. Traffic. Take it back up to the Highlands. We've still got just under 450 miles back up the road, so. How much time we got? We have on McTaco three and a half hours. Yeah, that's not that good. Ah, because we're sprayed over, best to be up. So, uh, we'll see how we get on. I think we're going to get all the traffic in the way up, but we need to try and get as much out of this car as we can. Uh, I don't know what, it's down to two lanes and then there's a police escort, a police car up in front there slowing us all down, which is kind of me because I was going to go to Southwest Services, but that will just nip my time and I'll end up running into a 10 hour drive for the sake of five minutes, which is not worth it, so I'm going to try and get into T-Bay, which is only just up the road to the benefit, we're going to park up a wee bit sooner and in a more secure place. This is really messing up the taco now. Good hard stand and plenty of parking. I'm gonna actually try and get somewhere at the back here. Ooh, I might go in there. Well, that is my day finished. We're just under nine hours drive. And just under a 15, nine hours off. Ah. Well guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I'm gonna carry on the journey back up to Scotland, tip this load, I haven't got a plan for a back road yet, so I'll be on the phones to try and sort that out. Uh, but that's just a kind of day in life of what it's like being an owner operator or a driver in that matter of fact. Uh, but aye, as always, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, drop a comment, I'll try to reply to every single one of you. Flat out, flabber up. Oost!